Hello, my lovely viewers. Welcome again to Mass Manager and I. It is your favorite presenter, Jeff Naino. And today we have a question that we will be asking. And the question says, if 5 raised to the power x equals 1 over 2 or raised to the power of y equals 10 raised to the power of 2, um, we are told to find the value of 1 over x minus 1 over y. Now the question does say it's a bit technical, but let us see what we can do about it. Um, first of all, before I will begin with the question, I will bring you know, you know, some laws or some theorems that we will be using in solving this question. And the first theory that we'll be using says that, um, or the first rules of law we use says that um, if log If log x base y is equal to n, it means um, y raised power n is equal to x. That's the first rule I'm going to be using. And the other says, um, okay, 1 over log x base y is the same thing as log y base x. Okay, 1 over log x base y is the same thing as log y base x. You notice? Here the base was y, but now the base is x. I switched. Okay, so it means log y base x is the inverse of log uh, y base x is the same thing as the inverse of log x base y. They are the same thing. Okay, now with this tool, we are going to be using this tool to solve this question. Now from the question, let us see. Um, we have 5 raised to the x is equal to 10 raised to the power 2. We all know 10 raised to the power 2 is 100. So we can call it equation 1. And again, um, 1 raised to the power, 1 over 2, sorry, or raised to the power of y is also equal to 10 raised to the power 2, which is also equal to 100 equation 2. Now, if we follow the first rule which I did in solving equation 1, you will see that um, 5 raised to the power is equal to 100 in log form is log 100 okay base 5 is equal to x if you follow the rule if you follow the rule now from this point i have x but what we are told to look for is 1 over x so it means that for me to be able to get 1 over x here i have to reciprocate x i have to turn x upside down because naturally there's an over 1 here so if i turn it upside down i'm going to get 1 over x but don't forget that whatever you do the right hand side of the equation, you also do the left hand side of the equation. So if I do that, I'm going to get this. Here becomes 1 over log, okay, 100 base 5 is equal to 1 over x. And don't forget we said that 1 over log x base y is the same thing as log y base x. So it means 1 over log 100 base 5 is the same thing as log 5 base 100. So here it comes 1 over x is equal to log 5 base 100. So that's the 1 over x. Now let's go get 1 over y. Now from equation 2, we have 1 over 2 or raised to the power of y equals 100. Again, following the first rule, which says um, in log form, we have log 100, okay, to the base of 1 over 2 equal to the power which is y. Alright, now for us to get 1 over y, again I'll turn y upside down. So it means we're going to be having um, 1 over log 100 base 1 over 2 equal to 1 over y. Alright, and we all know that 1 over log 100 base 1 over 2 is the same thing as log 1 over 2 base 100. So I have 1 over y is equal to log 1 over 2 base 100. All right. Okay, so now that we now know the value, we now know what represents 1 over x and what represents 1 over y, so we can now solve for x minus what? For 1 over x minus 1 over y. Okay, therefore, 1 over x minus 1 over y becomes, all right, um, 1 over x equals log 5 base 100 minus 1 over y we got log 1 over 2 base 100. Okay, now according to the rule of log, which says uh, when you have log n minus 
log n. It simply means log n divided by n. Okay. Now the rule says when the base of the log are the same and you are subtracting, you divide the numbers, which is m and n. So here I'm going to divide 5 and 1 over 2. Okay, because we are subtracting and the base are the same. So here I'll say log. Yeah, I have 5. And minus becomes divided by what do I have? 1 over 2. All to the base of 100. Are you with me? Okay, now we know that the division sign becomes multiplication and 1 over 2 becomes 2 over 1, which is the same thing as 2. So here becomes log. 5 times 2 to the base of 100. Plus 5 times 2 gives us 10. So I have log 10 base 100. And this can also be written as log. Okay? 10 raised to power 1. Because 10 raised to power 1 will still give us 10. Then to the base of 10 or raised to the power of 2. Because 10 raised to the power of 2 means 10 times 10. And 10 times 10 gives us 100. Now, according to the rule of log reading, which says, uh, log, okay, x raised to power m, base y raised to power m, which is equal to m over m log x base y. Now, the rule simply means when your number and base carries powers, okay, both of them are carrying power, the powers go to the back of the log and become a fraction, which is m over m, then the product of log x base y. So it means 1 over 2 goes to the back of log and become a product, which is 1 over 2, okay, log 10, base 10. And our answer here becomes 1 over 2. And why is our answer 1 over 2? Because the law of log which says number to the same base is 1. When your number and your base is the same, your answer is 1. So if log 10 base 10 is 1, 1 multiplied by 1 over 2 also gives us what? 1 over 2. So class, this is how we get the answer for 1 over x minus 1 over y to be 1 over 2. So I believe you understood perfectly what we did and uh, if there's a place that you did not guess correctly, um, you can simply leave in the comment section. But if you understood perfectly, then please help us to share so other students can learn from it. So we are done with today's class. Thank you for being with me and thank you for watching. So we'll meet again in our next video. Bye for now.